Goldilocks and the Three Bears Every week, Papa Bear, Mama Bear and their little bear would go for a walk in the forest in the morning before lunch. The famous mother bear already left the table set before leaving, so they could eat as soon as they returned from the walk. But one day, right after the bear family went out for their weekly walk, a little girl who was lost in the forest ended up near the bear family's house. She was blonde and had curly hair, so they called her Goldilocks. Goldilocks was very hungry and smelled the food coming from inside the house. She called and knocked on the door but no one answered, the bears were walking around. Then she came in and saw three plates of soup on the table with a delicious smell and decided to try the soup. In the biggest dish on the table, the soup was very hot and she couldn't taste it. She then took another spoon, tasted the soup that was on the middle plate and it was very cold. Lastly, she tasted the soup that was on the smaller plate and it was warm and delicious. Once satisfied, she needed to sit down to rest for a while. Goldilocks had been lost for a long time and wandering through the forest. She then saw three chairs, the first chair was too big for her to sit on and the second was too wide and she kept slipping. And when she sat on the third chair, which was very small, it crashed onto the floor and broke the whole chair. So Goldilocks went looking for another place to rest in the house and found three beds in an upstairs bedroom. She went to lie down on the first bed, which was the biggest. And the bed was very, very hard. Then she went to lie down on the second bed, the medium one, but she sank into the mattress, which was very soft. In the smaller bed she was much more comfortable, it was a perfect size and very warm. She was so relaxed that she ended up falling asleep right there. So the bear family was returning from their walk and, as soon as they got close to the house, they noticed something wrong, the door was open. They entered and found the living room in disarray and the kitchen a mess. Someone drank my soup and broke my chair said the teddy bear. Who messed up the whole table? asked Papa Bear. When they arrived in the room, Mother Bear shouted. Someone lay in my bed. It's all messed up. But the little bear, as soon as he got close to his bed, realized that Goldilocks was sleeping in it. Daddy. Mommy. Come see. There's a girl sleeping here in my bed. Then, with all the shouting, Goldilocks woke up scared by so many bears. She thought they were going to attack her and ran to jump out the window. If it hadn't been for Daddy Bear holding on to Goldilocks, she would have crashed down there. The bear family then finally managed to calm Goldilocks down. They explained that that was their house, that's why they were there. 
Goldilocks and the bear family became very close friends. The bears helped Goldilocks get home and she promised that she would never touch other people's things without permission again. And don't even go far from home. And this is the end. To the next.